As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, our next tale is about an animal who loved living in a toll booth. The book is Shep, the Turnpike Dog. This literature is now helping children learn Spanish. Local author Charlotte Havey joins us along with Francisco Picado. Nice to see both of you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for well, having us. Last time you were on years ago, we had the English version. Now we have the Spanish version. We have so much to talk about. But first, introduce us again who Shep was. Shep was a stray part shepherd dog that showed up on the Boulder Denver Turnpike in the 50s. Ended up being adopted um, by the toll booth workers there and lived his life in the toll booth for 14 years. So this is a true story? Based on a true story, my book is. And uh -huh. um, he is still an icon in Broomfield today. That's wonderful. Is it true he worked at two different toll booths? Well, the highway went both ways. So that oh. <laughs> you, you, you okay, so that makes sense. You're going to back to Denver. Is so. there a legend of how Shep arrived at the toll booth? Well, the story is that um, the workmen were throwing out lunch scraps and he would show up every day and eat the scraps. And mm. then when the toll booth opened, here he was. And I actually had the privilege of finding out that Archie Montgomery was the toll booth operator who adopted him. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's wonderful, yeah. Charlotte. <laughs> and the book, Shep, the Turnpike Dog, just tell me a little bit about it. Does it follow the story of Shep? Yes, because he was about two years old when he, he got adopted at the toll booth and so people would pull their cars over as they were paying their tolls to have pictures taken with their family and Shep and um, they would leave extra coins with the 25 cent toll Aww. to pay for food and toys for him. Oh, that's wonderful. Right here it says, the day the toll booth, toll booth opened, Shep watched cars come and go. Close, he'd circle, then he'd take off, too shy to say hello. But then finally he became that celebrity, right? Absolutely. Francisco, why do you think this book is so wonderful? Well, it's not only the fact that it's based on a true story and that it's so Colorado. It's, um, it's, a, it's a sweet story and it's, uh, I mean, so many uh, kids, you know, from preschool to mm -hmm and up to adults, uh, love the story because it's, it, it's that connection that many of us make with our pets and, uh, and friends that we have for life. And now the book is written in Spanish, which is wonderful. Would you mind reading an excerpt from the book? Not at all. Desaliñado, sin collar ni identificación, ser un perro callejero parecía ser su situación. Shep añoraba un hogar con todo su corazón. Un lugar calientito y seguro donde tener habitación. Okay, now in English. What right. does that mean? <laughs> well, that means uh, scruffy, without color or tag. This dog looked like a stray. With all his heart, Shep missed a home, a warm, safe, pl safe place to stay. So I'm thinking to myself, my youngest son is taking French and Spanish. Wouldn't this be a wonderful way for my son to learn Spanish, picking up the book and reading it? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, every uh, verse on the book rhymes, so it's just a ton of fun for kids, and it's uh, and and their vocabulary is going to is going to expand, and they and they and you know, and parents and kids can follow it with the English. Right, it's wonderful. It's a family adventure too. Reading this book, yeah. Charlotte. Whatever happened to Shap the dog? Um, he became blind and uh -huh. nearly deaf, and. Um, in August 1964, he was put to sleep by a vet who donated his services Shep's entire life. Oh, yes. my gosh. And they buried him along Highway 36, but then the configuration of the road changed, and they moved him to the Broomfield Depot Museum, where his remains are today. So there's a way if people want to go pay tribute or visit his gravesite, they can. Mm -hmm. That's so wonderful. And what moments of Shep's book, of the research that you did, made it really fun for you? What did you really enjoy the most? Well, I think the fact that uh, so many people still know that dog. Mm -hmm. And there were newspaper articles in uh, the Boulder camera. And I mean, it just, the, the story of the dog lives on. His legend lives on. And nice. I think now, with the book in Spanish and English, we can preserve the legend. And the illustrations are just beautiful. Who did the il illustrations for you? Her name is Renee Gregory, and she is a friend of my son and his wife. She was in Alaska. I wrote the book in Colorado. Shout out mm. to my publisher, Bear Paw Print, Colorado <laughs> publisher. But anyway, um, we have never met face to face. 
Really? We did a, this all over Skype and inter internet and Wow, internet. the synergy you two had to have this happen. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show, introducing us to Shep again and the Spanish version now. Shep the Turnpike Dog, now in Spanish, is beautifully illustrated in watercolors by artist Rene Gregory and, of course, written in poetic verse by Charlotte Havey. The book conveys a very special chapter in Colorado history for the young and the young at heart. You can order your copy at charlottehavy.com. That's charlottehavy.com or call this number 303-296-7448. Write it down. It's 303-296-7448. It's also available in many local bookstores.